Real-time display splicing tutorial videos. Connected device. First, install the device with the correct distance shown as the drawing. Connect the fiber optic cables and power cables of all machines properly, and the optical fiber lines are marked with stickers according to the naming rules of the splicing machine. Take out splice boxes, dispensers and other accessories. The splicing of four sets or less does not require a splicer, and only one splicing box is needed. In particular, it should be noted that splicing has requirements for computer configuration. First, splicing only supports Windows. Second, you need a separate graphics card from NVIDIA. If it is a notebook, it also needs to have a unique direct connection function and open. The desktop computer can be plugged directly into the graphics card interface. Configuration splice box. Next, start configuration. There is a model switch on the splicing box. Press the corresponding switch according to the machine used. Insert one end of the configuration line into the splicing box interface and the other end into the computer USB interface. If the computer is far away, you can use a USB extension cable to connect. Unzip the configuration software at MyZerialTal and open the folder. Double-click the setup file to install the serial port driver, which needs to be installed only when the driver is used for the first time. The installation is successful. Double-click MyZerialTal.x to open the software. Serial port number. Select the USB serial port. Click to open the serial port. Click Import File. In Config folder, select the corresponding machine folder, then select the corresponding splicing profile. The configuration file is, name device model, number of horizontal devices, number of vertical devices, splicing resolution what we're demonstrating is Z5S, 3X3. Select. Click open. After the configuration file is imported, the stitching information is displayed. At the bottom, the number of rows indicates how many splice boxes are needed, and we need three here. The numbers inside represent the machine corresponding to the optical port of each splice box. Click the send button in the first row to send the configuration file to the first splice box. Sending succeeded the configuration is complete. Find the optical fiber cables A1, B1, C1. Identify them according to the order of the optical transceiver sockets and connect them in the order shown in the configuration file. Unplug the configuration cable from the first splicing box, insert it into the second splicing box and continue configuration. Return to the software. Select the Send button on the second row. Send successfully. If the configuration fails, reselect the serial port number. Similarly, find the optical fiber cables A2, B2, C2. Connect them in order. Unplug the configuration cable from the second splicing box. Insert it into the third splicing box. Continue configuration. Return to the software. Select the Send button on the third row. Send successfully. All configurations completed, unplug the configuration cable. Connect the remaining optical fiber cables A3, B3, C3 in order. Next, connect the splicing box. Connect the signal input port of the splicing box to the signal output port of the distributor in sequence. Connect the signal input port of the distributor to the computer. Connect all power supplies and turn on the computer. Computer Settings Right-click on mouse of the computer desktop and select Display Settings. If the splicing box is successfully connected, it will have one more screen here. We need to change the display mode to expand these displays. Note that splicing can only use the expand these displays mode. Click Save Changes. If the interface does not appear on the screen after clicking the extended mode, then the window is on the screen of the advertising machine. First, press the Alt plus Tab keys, select the setting window, and release them. Then press the Win key, plus arrow key to move the window over. After setting the expansion mode, first check whether the computer has enabled the independent graphics card direct connection mode. Pull down the advanced display settings and check all the monitors to see if they are connected to the independent graphics card. If yes, there is no problem. Once we're sure we're using a separate graphics card, we need to set the resolution of the advertising machine screen. Right-click on the desktop, 
Find Media Control Panel and open it. Find the option to change resolution in the display settings. The two screens just set will appear on the monitor here. We select the screen of the advertising machine. Click on the customization below. Click to create a custom resolution. Change the resolution to the same as in the configuration software. Refresh rate 30. Standard here select CVT. Click testing. Select to keep. Select the resolution we just created and click on apply. Return to display settings. You can see that the screen of the advertising machine has been modified. Now we open the prepared splicing animations. Drag onto the advertising machine screen to play full screen and you will see it. This method only applies when the material resolution and desktop resolution are the same. Angle adjustment. After setting, we need to observe the angle of the machine. Install OBS and VLC can be downloaded on the official website. OBS is the main software, and VLC is used as a plugin for OBS. After installation, open the OBS software. Click on the settings in the bottom right corner. Change the resolution output in the video to the splicing resolution. Click plus select image in the source window. Import a line image and adjust it to the appropriate position. Right click, full screen projector, preview, select splicing device. Use these lines to refer to the machine angle. Another way of observation, create an Excel table. Open, drag to the advertising machine screen, maximize the window. Observe the machine angle according to the lines in the table. Now you can see that, our machine angle is a little skewed. Each one needs to be adjusted. Plug the configuration wire back into the splice box. Now connect it to the third splice box. Connect the other end to the computer. Go back to your computer. Open the HMI serial portal. Serial port select just insert it. Click to open the serial port. And then angle it down here. These four rows correspond to the four openings on the splicing box. One click is one degree of adjustment. Okay, start adjusting. After adjusting, click save. Now the third splicing box is adjusted. Unplug the wire and plug it into another splicing box. The operation is the same as the first one. Click to adjust. Save. Unplug the wire. Plug it into the last box. Okay, now everything is adjusted, you can unplug the wire. Play video. Once the angle is no problem, we can play the video. Open OBS. Click plus in the sources window, select VLC video source. Import the stitching footage we want to play. Here, you can add multiple videos to play together. Hold shift to select more. Click OK. Select the video layer, you can zoom in and out, and move the material position. Adjust it to the appropriate position. If you don't want to display the layer, you can click the eye icon behind it to hide it. Now you can see the video we imported on the machine. Click to create a VLC video source. There are playback control buttons and a playback progress bar. We can freely control the animations to be played. and we can also continue to adjust the position of the material. Play audio. If we need to play audio, prepare a speaker, connect the speaker's cable to the computer or use Bluetooth speaker connection. In the audio mixer window, select the video layer and click on the back three points. Click advanced audio properties, audio's monitoring to monitor and output. the speaker of the system needs to insert into the selected audio device. There is sound now. Real-time human display. Prepare a green or blue screen, and the on-site lighting should be very bright. Prepare a camera. 
We recommend this kind of USB port connection. It is easy to use and operate. Plug in the computer connection. Open OBS, click plus in the source window and select the video capture device. Select the latest inserted camera of the device. Make sure the camera is properly connected here, otherwise you won't see the options. Choose a higher resolution. Click OK. Click on the camera layer in the source window to adjust the camera to the appropriate position. Select the camera layer, right click, filter. Add a chroma key below the effect filter for image matting. Key color type select green and adjust similarity and smoothness to the more real and good effect.